Hello, my brave, strong, peaceful, and kind friends. It's so awesome to see all of you. Oh, I am so honored and grateful to have the opportunity to teach yoga play to all of you. I'm Jess, and this is Super Stretch. Welcome to Kids Yoga Playdate number 50, five, zero, 50 times we've been doing this for you. We're here to share the yoga love with all of you. Thank you so much for joining the Super Stretch team. When we practice yoga together at 247 Mindful Pathway with all of your friends right here, we're practicing the Super Stretch mission. And our mission is really simple and easy. We're trying to create a peaceful and balanced life by being the best that we can be. And namaste with your friends, David and Layla, and all of the kids at 247 Mindful Pathway, right? You wanna know what namaste is? Well, here you go, because this is your mission. This is how you join the team. You are so amazing, and I am so glad that you came to hang out and learn how to flip the negative switch in your mind so that you can get through tough times and stay healthy and happy and positive. Yeah. So our mission, which looks backwards right here, but our mission is namaste. Nothing is impossible. Always be honest. Make the world a better place. Act with kindness. Share with others. Trust and believe in yourself. Enjoy and have fun. And with a strong body, a clear mind, and a pure heart, when we practice namaste, we want to be the best people that we can be. And when we make namaste a part of every day, that's when you tap into your super kit and all of your tools to be a superhero. Because always remember, balance is your superpower. So come on kids, put on your listening ears. Let's sit in lotus flower pose with our friends and play and breathe and stretch together. Here we go. We're sitting down nice and calm and we're gonna take a balloon breath with our friends. As you can see here, we sit calmly, reach your arms up high to the sky, and then bring your hands right back to your heart center, keeping your body flexible and your mind at peace. Are you ready? Big breath in. Good breath out. Fantastic. Did you know you can do this seated and you can also do a balloon breath standing? Well, let's try as we have our listening ears on and we're taking deep breaths together. Let's try two more seated and then we'll do a couple standing together. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Mm, that was so good, friends. Let's go visit Tada, the standing dog, on our yoga adventure and we will start to do some balloon breaths standing steady as a mountain empowered to be our best self let's stand on our own two feet all right here we are standing tall our toes are spread wide our ankles are on over our feet right and our knees are in line with our hips and our hips are right underneath our shoulders. Big, huge breath in, as light as a balloon, and then let it go, getting nice and tiny. Here we go, big breath in, good breath out. Big breath in, strong breath out, big breath in. Good breath out. You know what, friends? You can even do this 
breath exercise, laying on your backs. Should we try it a couple times? Come on, let's lay down on our backs. Laying down, body strong. Take a big breath in, scrunch everything up, and oh, good breath out, let it go. Big breath in, scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. Good breath out. Let's do it again. Big breath in, scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. Good breath out. Whew. That was so fantastic. Can you sit back down, friends, in your lotus flower pose? Sitting cross-legged. And we're going to do drishti, the clock. Drishti, the clock. We're going to make our arms into circles. And we're going to do some yoga for our eyes as we look and we see and we practice being present with the breath. Our arms go up in a nice big circle like this is the face of a clock. And we're going to look up. But instead of bringing just your chin up, can you look up with your eyeballs? Look up and then back to center. Keep breathing as you do this. Look down and back to center. Look to a side, stretching your eyes but keeping your face facing forward and look back to center. And look to the left but don't move your chin. Look, look, look and head back to center. Oh, big breath in and let it all go. Wow, you really are making namaste a part of your day to stay balanced, friends. Let's try to do shoulder shrugs and head rolls as we're seated in lotus flower pose. Shrug a shoulder up and down, up and down. Let's try the other side, up, down, up, down, still breathing, and now both go up, both go down, go up, down, up, down, up, down. Whew, that was really good, friends. Okay, can you take your head and roll your chin forward towards your chest? We look at the computers all day long, at our iPads, our TV sets. So this is a good stretch for our neck so that our shoulders relax and we don't hold any yucky feelings there. Bring your chin forward, roll to a side. Oh, so good. Look down to the ground and bring your chin back forward. And now go to the other side, roll your head to the other side. Big breath in, roll your head back forward as your neck hangs. And then slowly look up and we'll take a big balloon breath in, just paying attention, not even moving the arms. Good breath out. Mm, that was so great, friends. Let's go visit Moksha the mouse. And we're going to get nice and small, like this little friends right here. And we're just giving ourselves time to balance our energy and be quiet. And take three deep breaths. Do you think you could take three deep breaths, just folding forward like that? Let's try. In our little mouse house with our little mouse ears, squeak, squeak, squeak. Our hands are down and our forehead is down. Taking three big breaths, feeling the back rise and fall with the breath. Wow, I feel so calm and it's nice and quiet. It's so quiet, I can feel my heartbeat. How about you? We are having so much fun breathing, stretching, and playing. 
Do you want to try another yoga pose with me? Let's jump and hop right on over to our friend Fierce the Frog. Fierce the Frog shows all the energy that they've got as they breathe and stretch and play. So we're going to squat down just like that picture I showed you. And then here we go. We're going to hop forward, hop, and backwards, hop. Good job, friends. Big breath in. A strong breath out. Let's go visit Honey, the silly monkey, on our yoga adventure. So as you bring your hands to the ground, straighten your legs and stand up tall. Just like Tada, the standing dog. We're going to reach one arm up and then let it go. Reach the other arm up and it falls down. And now bring both arms up. Stretch, stretch, stretch. <sighs> Letting it go. Here we go. Honey the Silly Monkey loves tickling, especially their toes. So reach up high, both arms to the sky, and then dive, dive, dive all the way down as you tickle your toes. Oh, honey, the monkey's super silly. Just bend your knees and hang over. Just like one of your stuffed animals. You're just nice and loose and relaxed. Hanging out. Breathing deeply. And then roll your body back up. Standing like, ta-da, the standing dog. Big balloon breath in, and whew, good balloon breath out, letting it go. Big balloon breath in, and whew, big balloon breath out. Do you know what, friends? Another thing that Hani likes to do is to do Surya, the sunny salutation. Can you help me, just like these kids right here, take a journey around the sun to feel happy, peaceful, and free? Let's try it. Okay, so we're gonna stand facing in one direction, breathing in, reaching high to the sky, and breathe out and fold forward. Breathe in and lengthen your back. Oh, and as your hands come down, step back. Lower all the way to the ground and then slither like a snake, diving down as your hands touch down, breathing deeply. Shoulders are open, your neck is long, and you're looking through your legs as your head hangs out. Look forward. And like Fierce the Frog, hop forward, face to the legs, dive high to the sky, and bring your arms down. Ta-da! Standing tall and proud. Oh, I'm starting to feel more balanced and more relaxed. Should we do that one more time, friends? Okay. This time, as we use our listening ears, we're just going to breathe slowly. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Mm. Let your head adventure now become a triangle like this little girl we're gonna try to be a triangle here we go jump nice and wide making a shape with your body 
point your toes to a side, reaching and stretching as one hand comes down and the other arm lifts up. Big breath in and a good breath out. Mm, how many shapes do you see? Come on back up. Point your toes to the other side and reach and stretch as a hand comes down and an arms reach up. Your feet are firmly planted on the ground and every breath you take is making you healthier and happier. Use your exhale to come on back up and then jump your feet together, hands to heart center. Friends, you are a superhero and you really are making balance your superpower as you practice our mission of Namaste. Can you help me to be the hero twins as you reach up high to the sky and then we're gonna spread our arms nice and wide? All right, see our friends are doing it. I know you can too. Let's practice being hero one and hero two as we create space from the inside out, peaceful and calm. Reach your arms up high and point your toes to a side. Big breath in, oh, good breath out. Hi friends, big breath in, good breath out. And now reach up and we'll open up that same side, warrior two. Breathe in as your arm reaches up. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Great job. Breathe in. Breathe out. And then straighten your arms and your legs like triangle pose. We're going to try the other side. You are being a great superhero, friends. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, and then we'll open up wide for our hero two. <sighs> breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Fantastic job, friends. Straighten the leg and then step your feet together, arms down by your sides. Do you think on our yoga journey you can do two more poses? Okay, come on, friends. We're going to be Jaya the starfish and we're going to balance on a hand and a leg. And then we're going to try Vera the tree like all of our friends here when we practice yoga play we're being steady no matter which way the wind blows we can stay strong and tall and brave come on let's go for it okay so the first one is just like hero two we're gonna jump our arms and legs nice and wide bending into a knee and we're gonna reach out and be the starfish, Jaya. So find the freedom in your body, your hand and a foot stays down, and then the other leg, whoop, oops, lifts up high to the sky. I know this is hard, but trust yourself. That's one of our mission things, right? To believe in ourselves as we stretch. And if we don't do it right away, whew, or we fall out, that's okay. Remember, you're just doing the best that you can as you breathe, stretch, and play. And every time we try it, we get a little bit better. Okay, let's try the other side, friends. Open your arms out, stretch your toes out, lunging into a leg, and then your hand comes down, and we reach and stretch and lift and open, oh, and we're balancing on a hand and a foot as if our other hand and foot that's in the air is getting pulled up to the sky, stretching and then landing slowly. <sighs> With a big, strong breath in and a whew, good balloon breath out. You are a superhero, friends. You're doing such
such a great job. Okay, our last standing pose together is Vera the tree. Take your hands to your hips, and as your neck is nice and long, feel your toes touching down to the ground, spreading wide. Bringing one foot up into the other leg, open up wide. Oh, breathing deeply. Hmm. Whoa, it's getting windy, but your body is strong. You can do this, my friends. You can do this. And then the knee comes forward, whew, and your foot comes down. Let's try the other side. Hands to your hips. Foot is strong. Breathing as your heart is open. Hmm. Bring your hands back to heart. Knee comes forward and everything relaxes as you stand tall, brave and peaceful, breathing, stretching and playing. <sighs> Come on, friends. Now on our journey, we're gonna travel down to the ground and go visit some of our friends, like um, rock and roll. See how this little girl is rocking and rolling, massaging her back? And then we're gonna roll all the way onto our hands and visit Booja the snake. Just like these two kids right here, we're gonna slither around, uncoiling our body. Mm-hmm. And then you know who's friends with Booja? Our friend Suka the bird. We're gonna try and soar through the sky like a super hot hero that you are. And then, oh my goodness, we're gonna rock and roll on our bellies like our friend here, galloping our way as we do kind things. Come on, friends. We're going to rock and roll. Are you ready? Okay, hold on to your feet. Rock and roll on your back, massaging it from all those standing poses. Good job, back and forth, and back and forth until we land on our hands. Can you jump your feet back and lower down to the ground? Ah, slithering up. Swaying from side to side like a snake. Can you look over a shoulder? And then look over the other shoulder. Mm, and then lower yourself down. You know what's interesting about snakes is that they shed their skin. And just like when we're having a tough time, when we practice yoga, we shed our unhappy thoughts and we come into a really sunny, bright day. So we're just transforming like a snake when we practice yoga. Hands are down, lift your heart up high, breathe deeply, and then as you breathe out, like a snake, lowering back down. All right, let's become Sukha, the bird. We're going to reach our arms up high and our legs up high, finding the sweetness with the breath as we lift up, soaring through the sky like a superhero, lifting up, lifting up your legs, your feet, your arms, and whew, lowering back down. Mmm, big breath in as you relax right here, and a good breath out. All right, friends, do you think you can be Rocky the rocking horse with me? Lift one foot up and move it about. And then bring the other foot up and move them both about. As your hands come down, just like the snake pose, can you lift up like Booja? But what we're gonna do is we're gonna reach back towards our feet. So we're gonna grab our feet 
Wow, that's awesome. And like rock and roll, can you roll on your belly? Front and back and front and back. Massaging your tummy. Back and forth and back and forth. Good job, everybody. Let's go visit Moksha the mouse in the mouse house and squeak, squeak, squeak ourselves into a calm space. Big breath in and a good breath out. Mmm, big breath in. Good breath out. As you sit up with a nice big smile, let's go visit our friend, Sideways the Crab. Sideways the crab sometimes gets crabby. Do you ever get crabby? But then you know what? When we practice yoga, it turns those yucky feelings and thoughts and tough times into a little bit easier and more manageable. So we become um, positive and happy and okay. So can you help me get out of a crabby mood? and be a crab with sideways the crab. Feeling our strength from the inside. Let's breathe, stretch, and play our behind to the sky. Lifting up, woo, that's kind of fun. Walk forwards, yay, and backwards, and then side. Getting closer, and to the side until we come right back to the center with our behind to the ground and sitting down. Ah, oh. when I breathe, stretch, and play, it always takes a tough time and it turns it into a pretty good space. And just like Rainbow the butterfly, do you know our friend Rainbow? Rainbow the butterfly is the queen of change. She transforms a lot because she starts off as a caterpillar and then goes to sleep in a cocoon for a while until she comes out with these beautiful wings. So can you help me to sit with your feet together and your knees out? And we're just practicing. Make your wings fly and flap. And then we're gonna make antennas. So the butterfly sees and flies with the antennas. And then as the butterfly flies on our yoga adventure, whew, we got a duck because we have to curl up and create some space. And then breathe in and soar through the sky, change and discovering all kinds of new things as we grow healthy and happy. Squat back down, getting nice and small. Mm. And then lift your heart up nice and high. Wow, really good job being a butterfly, everybody. What color of butterfly were you today? Hmm? Oh, well, all of our friends at 247 Mindful Pathway are getting a little bit hungry from all of the work that we've just been doing. So can you help me make half the sandwich? Because half is always so much fun to share. And let's have that treat together. Okay, so one knee is bent just like Rainbow the Butterfly, that queen of change. And as our toes are high to the sky, take a hand out. And we're gonna breathe out, trying to touch our toes, and breathe in. That was good, let's try it again. Breathe out, and breathe in, and breathe out, and deep breath in. And now this time, as you stay here, my brave and peaceful friends, reach yourself forward, staying here for the stretch. Big breath in, and a good breath out. And then come on back up and we'll switch 
Our feet come together and we sway like rainbow the butterfly, just changing to the other side. Reach the other leg out and your foot presses into the leg to make your back nice and tall. Breathe out as you reach forward. Breathe in to come up. Breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Really good, everyone. Now, as you breathe out, stretch, stretch, stretch your body forward. Let your neck be long as your body is strong. Look down to the ground. One more good breath out. And then come on back up. Mm, feet come together, swaying side to side as we're just like Rainbow the Butterfly flying through the air. <sighs> Let's go visit on our yoga journey, Marichi the Owl. Here's Marichi. We're gonna create a twist, twist, twist as we twist around. Our practice is about flipping perspectives and finding new ways to see. Up. All right, so let's see what's behind us with Marichi the owl. Bringing one leg up and over, Marichi likes to go whoo. Can you help me whoo? as our legs become a nest, and we'll twist to a side, twist, twist, twist. Who? What's behind you? Do you see? And then go to the other side, twisting. Who? Breathing deeply. Come on back forward and see what's under your legs. Looking under as your neck is long, and then come on back up and we'll switch the cross of our legs or our owl's nest. Switching the cross of the legs. <sighs> Big breath in and then we'll twist and see what we can see behind us. Woo! Good breath out. And then other side. Big breath in. Good breath out. And as we come on back to center, one more time, let's take a look underneath our nest, seeing what we see. Mm, and then come on back up. Shake out your legs. Oh, you know what? I see our friend Buzzy the butterfly. Can you help me to be like Buzzy the butterfly? And we're gonna take some nice deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. But when we breathe out through the mouth, we're gonna buzz and our breath comes deep down for our tummy, from our tummies. Remember, you are a superhero and because balance is your superpower, when you breathe and stretch and play, you really release all those yucky, uncomfortable, worried feelings. And then you get to relax and be healthy and happy. So let's place our hands to our tummies and be like Buzzy the Bee. Ready? So you're gonna breathe in and then breathe out. Oh my gosh, that was so good. Can you make your buzz as long, as long, as long as you can, pushing out all the air from your tummy, which releases all those yucky things that are trapped and stuck in your systems? Let's try it again. Breathe in and buzz away those bad thoughts. Here we go. Bzzz. Oh, wow. 
This is such a fun play date, friends. My brain feels a little bit buzzy and tingly, like Buzzy the Bee. But I also feel really calm and giggly. Can you help me to giggle with our friend, Happy Baby? We're gonna lay on our backs and grab our feet. And then go visit Joy the Candle, having our toes flicker around in the sky. And our final pose together, friends, which actually is my favorite pose. We're gonna do rest and dream time where we just lay on our backs, hand to our tummy and heart, and breathe. Come on, let's go for it. Oh, are you ready? Here we go. We're gonna lay on to our backs and Bring our hands to our feet, swaying from side to side. Oh, that feels so good, friends. And from happy baby, we're gonna wiggle our toes up high, wiggling them about. And when our toes land and our bodies are calm, we'll take one hand to our heart, and one hand to our tummies. And let's scan our bodies, friends, with the breath. Notice your toes as they spread out wide. Breathe in to your knees and feel them as light as a balloon breath. Breathe into your belly as you feel your hand rise up and lower down. Hmm. Feel your heartbeat with your other hand. Kind, calm. Feel the breath in your fingers as your arms relax like pasta noodles. And everything in your mind is settled. And just like a room, nothing's messy. It's all clean. Feel yourself settled as you breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Mm, reach your arms back, wiggle your toes and stretch out. Oh, you did such a good job, friends. You did at your kids' yoga play date. We're so lucky to be here to help you to, through tough times, to teach you all about your superpowers and all about balance and teach you that you can respond wisely when you're not feeling okay. As you wake back up and you sit into a comfortable seat. How do you feel now? Do you feel super two thumbs up? Do you feel just okay? Or do you feel kind of sour? Well, I hope that you feel super. Remember always that you all are superheroes and that balance is your superpower. All of the characters at 247 Mindful Pathway, all of your friends are in the Super Stretch universe are so happy that you came to join us to learn about our mission and to see how balance is your superpower when you breathe, stretch, and play. It's so good for your mind, your body, and most importantly, your heart so you can share kindness with everyone that you meet. And 
most importantly, yourself. Stay calm, stay courageous, and stay connected. We love you. From Miss Jess and Super Stretch, lots of peace as you love more and you stress less. Thank you so much for joining us at our Kids Yoga Playdates. And thank you again for joining the team and making our mission to take a breath, calm your mind, and build positive energy a part of every day.